And now Storm Tracker weather with meteorologist Michael Ottovino. Good morning, everyone. A flood warning is still in effect for the Port Niff River. The current stage of the river is at eight and a half feet, and the flood stage is eight and a half feet as well. So minor flooding is occurring, and it is eminent. And the same is true up by the Snake River. The current stage of the river is 8.9 feet and flood stage is at eight and a half feet. So we're still seeing that flooding occurring. So just be aware of those high waters if you live near those areas or own any property near those areas as well. As far as temperatures go right now, pretty chilly out there. We're seeing temperatures hovering around freezing for most areas. It's 32 degrees straight across the Snake River Plain. Rexburg, 31 degrees to start the morning out there. Even across the western half of Wyoming, temperatures generally in the 20s to start the morning out there, but we're not seeing any rain to start the day today. Yesterday we saw some showers and some lingering showers throughout the day yesterday. Today we really won't see any of that across the Snake River Plain that is. The only chance of any showers or, or thunderstorm activity could be by the Mont Montpelier, Bear Lake area, even down southeast by Malad City. And looking ahead to see what's coming, we have an area of high pressure well out to our west, right off the coast. And as that builds into our area, by about Friday, even into Saturday, we'll have lots of sunshine and drier conditions and much warmer temperatures temperatures with temperatures approaching the lower 80s as we approach the weekend. As far as any rain or snow goes today around 9 o'clock today, not seeing anything across on the satellite and radar, even on the future tracker, maybe south by Soda Springs, Montpelier could see some showers, maybe even some thunderstorms as we move throughout the day today. But across the Snake River Plain, Pocatello, Blackfoot, Idaho Falls, we just really won't see any of that today, which is nice, a nice change from yesterday. Across the western half of Wyoming, maybe a very isolated rain shower or two even up by Leto or across the Central Mountains. But it will generally be a pretty good day out there with mostly sunny skies across all areas. For the Snake River Plain today, we're seeing temperatures generally in the low to mid 60s with mostly sunny skies out there today. We'll have a high temperature of 64 degrees in both Pocatello and American Falls, 62 degrees in Idaho Falls, and 61 in Rexburg. Across the Central Mountains, you'll see more clouds than you would see across the Snake River Plain today. Overall, we'll have partly cloudy skies, with temperatures generally in the 60s. We'll have a high temperature of 64 in Chalice, 63 in Salmon, 60 degrees today in Arco, and across the highlands and western Wyoming areas. Expect partly cloudy skies for your area as well, with temperatures generally in the 50s. Looking ahead to this evening, the skies will be mostly clear for all areas, with temperatures very similar to what they were last night. We'll generally have temperatures in the 30s tonight across the Snake River Plain. We'll have a low temperature of 38 in Pocatello and American Falls, 37 in Blackfoot, across the western half of Wyoming. We're seeing the 20s and the teens for Yellowstone and across the central mountains will have temperatures generally in the 20s and the 30s. Let's have a look at that seven day forecast. Across the Pocatello area, we'll have mostly sunny skies today with a high temperature of 64. Thursday, a high temperature of 69 with sunshine in the sky. Friday, mostly sunny skies and even for the weekend, look at that, 80s make a return on Sunday and then there is a chance for a thunderstorm on Monday. Across the Idaho Falls area, your seven day forecast, mostly sunny skies for today, sunshine tomorrow, even on Friday, mostly sunny skies with highs approaching the upper 70s by the weekend. Across the Teton area, Jackson, Afton and Driggs, we'll have partly cloudy skies today, mostly sunny skies tomorrow, and then a consistent threat for a shower or thunderstorm, even looking ahead to next week, but it looks like temperatures will remain in the 60s and across the central mountains, partly cloudy skies today, plentiful sunshine in the sky tomorrow, and then looking ahead to the weekend, temperatures will generally be in the 70s and it looks like there's a consistent threat for a shower or a thunderstorm for your area as well, even well into next week.